So I just left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a day to show up. And apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks. Trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything to be just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. Like, I just... I'm just looking for my person. I'm just looking for the one that I guess is out there for me. I mean, I want to be somebody's husband someday, father. I'm trying to do everything that's right and I just get stood up. Like my feelings didn't even matter. I'm sitting there eating a meal by myself and realizing that nobody even cares about people anymore. Like, Ellie and dating shouldn't even be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard to find somebody. It shouldn't be this difficult to fall in love. To be to kind to one another. Like, what? Ladies, tell me, what did I do wrong? Bro. You look like... You take people against their will and throw them in the back of a trunk. And I'm not even trying to be harsh about that. Uh, just by the looks from its from from itself, how the man look. He looked like he scared women off. Look like he's scared. Hell, 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 I'm damn near scared from looking at him. Now, I'm not trying to pick at the brother, nothing like that. That's that's far beyond the point. But I'm going based off of just appearance first. Try first off by taking them glasses off, and then we can might then we might be able to have a conversation. The number set, the number two thing I'm gonna get into is this, man. Y'all dudes gotta stop getting online asking these women what he what what y'all done did wrong. And you also gotta learn how to take your L's. And you also gotta learn how to tap into your discernment of when you know junk ain't right. A lot of people don't been stood up before. Especially when you coming up in the game and you're not seasoned all the way there. You feel me? Well, you're not seasoned right. Or properly seasoned, as I should say. A lot of people don't took L's. A lot of dudes don't took L's in that department. But you got to always look at it and say, this is my fault. Uh, I'll be on the lookout for that next time. You got to understand when you're putting out lame energy. You got to understand sometimes when you're being played with. Yes, there are a lot of women out here that would drain you verbally, physically, whatever the case may be. Seems like you got drained of your time and verbally, pretty much. Um, that's just the games that people play. That's part of the game, bro. Do I feel sorry for this dude? No, nah, I really don't. Um, is it very unfortunate? Oh, yes, it's extremely unfortunate because... Like they always say, there's a lot of good dudes out there that will do the right thing and they'll show you the whole world, man. Um, but at the end of the day, man, everybody ain't for everybody. Everybody just ain't for everybody. That's just part of the dating game. When you out here in the field, when you out here in the streets, the streets ain't never been pretty, man. Dating ain't never, ever, ever been pretty, especially in today's times. It ain't pretty. It's going to be a lot of hard nights. You're going to be going out there, you know, with your, in 12 round fights, going back to your corner, huffing and puffing a lot of times in these dating worlds, in these, in these streets. That's just how the cookie crumble. So now I don't feel sorry for you, bro. You'll find somebody, you'll find something out there, bro. But you look like you scared people off, bro. You, you, you definitely running somebody off. I don't want to go too far to it because it's going to seem like I'm going. Y'all get what I'm saying, but. Y'all see what I see, though? Do you see what I see? Thank you.